Hey guys, it's Mark from ParkFlyers.com. Today we're looking at the 2022 XL1 refresh from Traxxas. $749.99, same price as the old one, but a lot of improvements. Some of the improvements in the car are gonna help the car be more stable. As we know, the previous car was a nightmare to tune. A lot of customers were very frustrated with it. This car changes all that. So the first thing they did with the car is they actually changed the front splitter, much bigger and different shape. Uh, keeps the car front of the car down and the downforce is now increased for more front end stability. That is very important, especially if you put in the 100 mile an hour gear at high speeds, you definitely want that, that front pinned down to the ground. Second improvement is the wing is massive now, much bigger, and you have that increased airfoil on the wing. Look at that curve, beautiful. And it has a canard structure to keep the air going through it. Trax has really spent the time to make this really, really amazing. And that is definitely a significant improvement over the old wing. And the third and last um, change to aerodynamics is the rear of the car. You have the opening, and basically that is probably the most important part of the uh, upgrade because on the old car you get something called parachuting where air would go under the body, lift up the car, and cause the car to lose traction. People couldn't figure out why the car was going out of control after they tuned it. It didn't make sense, and it was all from the body. Aerodynamics is one of the key components of driving especially fast on an on-road car if your aerodynamics are affected by lift your car is going to be going out of control so Trax has finally figured out that they had to revise the body make an opening on the rear of the car for air to escape so now your car is planted the other cool thing that they did was they improved the uh the bell crank arm it's now made of steel so it's much stronger there's no flex in it like the old one and they have heavy duty suspension arms. The old ones uh, were a little bit flimsy. These are, have winter plastics, so they're gonna be a lot more durable. One of the cool features of this car people don't really know is that Castle Creations makes the motor and the speed control for the car. These are over-engineered and they're marvels. They're engineering marvels. The speed control is overkill and so is the motor. You have tremendous amounts of torque coming out of this in power. It is more than anything else in its class. It's very, that's why it's very hard to keep the car. If, you're, if you don't know how to drive an RC car and the car is not set up right, you're going to have a hard time with it um, just because of the power. The power is absolutely ballistic. Uh, you have to be careful with upgrading your pinion. If you upgrade it to a bigger pinion, you're gonna, you could have overheating issues and then you may need a fan. But overall, this thing is really nice, very stable. If you look at one of the cool features here, you have a vent that goes under the car. Air comes here and actually cools the motor. Uh, really nice a very nice design that doesn't um, that doesn't it's not like a fan where it takes power from the speed control this is a complete mechanical design and very welcome now the battery straps are made out of plastic battery goes in on each side for balance if you want to get bigger straps they do make them uh, it's an upgrade and uh, if you want to use the bigger batteries I don't recommend it you don't want to make the car too heavy because it does um, it does affect the stability so if you look at the car, the car stock comes with upgraded shock towers front and rear. They're aluminum anodized. You have an aluminum, aluminum anodized motor mount. And you have a 20, 2075 Traxxas servo. And you have a couple of uh, parts in the front. You have the castle blocks that are aluminum. And you have the metal CVDs front and rear. Overall, this is a great improvement uh, to, a, to a car that is legendary. And now the car is something that's actually safer to drive because it's more stable. Uh, new graphics for 2022 look better. They come in different colors, blue, orange, green, and red. Absolutely beautiful. Much nicer than the old one. Uh, the tires are okay. If you want to um, have a little bit more improved stability, you can go with the uh, Proline makes Toyo Proxies. They have an S3 compound, really grippy, very good. Um, and then if you want to get lightweight BSRs, they're foam tires and they don't need any balancing. They're amazing, especially in the heat. They hook up and there's actually no, um, there's no slip on them and uh, they really are some of the best. So anyway, this is Mark for ParkFlyers.com. Please leave us a thumbs up, comments below and share the video. If you have any questions, please call 1-800-470-8932. If you want to buy a car, call and ask for Mark. We'd love to sell you one. And again, this is a 2022 refresh of the X01. Absolutely phenomenal and definite, definite recommend by, recommended buy for 2022.